Oh, I am live. Why, boy, the light is so bad. Hmm, I wonder if it's because of this in the back. Yeah. Oh, that looks a little better. Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, boy, it's so hard to get with these lights. The lights are everything, and it makes you look weird. Oh, Smiley, you know what? Uh, let's see. We getting some people around? Get some people around. Let's see who's around. Round, round, round. I'll get around. Do, 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 do. Your lighting is so important. I think the black thing only works good at night. It doesn't work good during the day. You know, the thing in the, the black being behind me. Wow. Not too many people up Saturday morning. I just thought we'd get a good bunch of people. Hold on. Black being behind me. Wow, not too many people up Saturday morning. I just thought we'd get a good bunch of people. You're not receiving video data fast enough. Well, that's not nice. Uh, stream results are bad. Oh my God. It's raining out. I think that's what happens when it rains out. Oh, no, that doesn't look so bad now. Uh -huh. Wow, is anybody up today? Anybody alive today? Anybody? <laughs> Looks like hardly anybody around. Who's around? Oh, Vicky, good. Vicky, very good. Good, good. Hi, Vicky. <laughs> I want to really answer questions. I've been doing a lot of research and stuff like that so i i gotta get this out of my system here oh i have to i misspelled your name see i'm terrible yeah i see day i <laughs> uh, i'm terrible speller i've flunked english in college even i have two new york times bestsellers and that's one of my first book me the new york times bestseller is i'm trying to call that english teacher who flunked me <laughs> i told her it didn't matter <laughs> yeah but i got a lot of stuff to go over uh, uh, but most importantly, it's a, uh, a free download I have. Um, I have one of my books that's very good. Hi, Linda Brown. <laughs> I'm offering it. This is a, a, an ebook that I sell for about $20. And, and I just thought maybe you guys, so I'm, I'm trying to teach people. I got to make money true. Uh, because I, that's why I feel like I'm doing anything of value. If I have nothing that people, you know, don't want to buy, then, you know, I'll, I have to think of something else. But I think what I'm doing, the stuff I know about is valuable. I got to figure out how people will pay for it so I can keep going for it. So that's why I'm coming out with a lot of free ebooks now and then to really educate you. Now, whether you use me or not, the important thing of my business is to educate people about using programs. And that are out there that give out money, you know, uh, to you solve problems. Hiya, Sue. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, say something. Uh, hi. Okay, so uh, how about on, on uh, Periscope? Anybody there could give me? Oh, there you are. Good. Uh, hi. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried that didn't work because sometimes I don't do that very well. <laughs> so so uh, I want to make sure people uh, have this. Uh, and, and, and really learning the system. That's what it's all about. So for me to keep, you know, trying to educate people, learn the system, I, I've of course got to stay in business. And, and 
to learn how to be self-supporting. And, and but even if that, the but the objective of my business is really to teach. So I would do this for free if I could. <laughs> but I think in a capitalist society, that's what's so neat about capitalism. You really know if you're doing something of value to people because they'll pay for it. Well, here, here's a free download to help. Uh, I like to know about programs in Missouri. I just finished, actually I'm gonna finish uh, in about, uh, Oh, probably tomorrow. I'm working on a uh, uh, the the book for Missouri, the one stop. So if you go here, Vicky, uh, lesgocom slash one stop, and you'll see state by state there. And there I'll have in about you know probably tomorrow or Monday at the latest is the one for Missouri. I have almost every state completed, and if your state isn't completed, it'll take me about two weeks. But I'm really working on Missouri, yeah, you know, now. And God, Missouri has a lot of stuff. Yeah, you know, um, and I've done a lot of work for uh, information for entrepreneurs in Missouri. But the one stop, let's go dot com one stop is really for people it is all the government programs for anything. Uh, and then so it's like the Bible. This is your one stop for everything in Missouri. This is something uh, is is Georgia. Yes, Georgia is there on one stop. That's already finished. And you could download that right away. Um, and by the way, if you want to talk about anything, I've been having some wonderful calls. I, I, I spent some time, uh, Florida, yes, Florida is done. Uh, so if you go to One Stop, Florida is done. And by the way, you know, get this, uh, part of what's in the One Stop is on how to get cars, money available from the car, to buy a car, fix up a car, uh, or pay make car payments. Special money programs from nonprofits and government or offices. You'll never find them in Google because they don't make money giving you that money. People make money when they sell you money. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what they want to do. So, and that's why you find them in Google because they're making money so they could afford to find you. You have to find them. Now, all the programs I give, the real answer to all these programs is they may or may not work. It's sort of like you, int me introducing you to a, uh, an attractive person to maybe date. Long time no see. Well, now you see me. <laughs> now you don't, maybe. Uh, and, and actually, I usually stream like on four or five services, but they're all getting screwed up. Actually, I got kicked off a... Of, uh, Instagram, and I don't I have no idea why. <laughs> and they told me to, I have to send in something like my driver's license or something to get back on. And uh, I, I didn't, I haven't done much on there or figured it out yet. So, uh, what the heck? Ah, I caught you live. Yes, Anna. <laughs> nice. Minnesota, yes. Minnesota is done. Florida is done. Um, uh, all done. Minnesota will be done on Monday, but you could order it today and we'll send it to you uh, as soon as it comes out. Uh, and it's really the best work I've done. You know? um, but again, all these programs, remember, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> true, it's so easy to be a huckster to tell you only about the you know, what can happen, the good things and the things that happen to other people, how and when it happens to you is different. But if you don't try, I mean, that's the important thing. And, and actually, a lot of my work, I feel, and this is the way I do research, <clears throat> I find things that may or may not be good, but then they lead me to other things that are good that I didn't even know to ask for. See, and that's the story of researching. That's the story of being successful. That's the story of, of doing anything in life <clears throat> is one thing leads to another. You're, you're after one trail because you think this is what's important to do and it leads to something else. <clears throat> like all these programs about that I, I've done on uh, uh, buying cars, fixing up cars or whatever, there's about a hundred of them now. And, and, and you know, I ran into them by accident when I was reaching, I was researching something else. And now I say, hey, that's even maybe more valuable to people to know about this. <laughs> and, and, and so that's how you get things solved in life. So you, you and I, you know, and you could, we could get, how do you weed out a lot of the scams? Oh, okay, that, that's very good uh, to know. How do you weed out, a lot, weed out a lot of the scams? The way you do that is, number one, you don't pay for anything, anybody who's charging you money to make money. Whoops, <laughs> did I say that about me? <laughs> uh, 
and, and unfortunately, that's true. Uh, so anybody and all the stuff in my work that when I send you a list or whatever, everything in there is free. Nobody will charge you. So in this one stop, there's 327 sources of free money and services. None of you charge you. If they charge you $5, that's it. But <laughs> nobody's charging you money. See, and that's what I'm trying to do. Show people the alternative. In Google, you'll never find these 327 because you have to you know, fight everybody on Google who's trying to get money from you. And they're, whether they're scams or real, but it's still going to cost you money. And so what I'm trying to do is show people how to help themselves. My knowledge of English isn't well, but I can't. I'm, uh, uh, I'm listening really great. But I can that I'm listening. Oh, so you understand me? Well, but sometimes I talk real so fast that nobody can listen. <laughs> people try to help me get, talk slower because the people don't know. Well, that's nice. And, and that's right. For an immigrant to the country or whatever, you don't know the language, you know, don't worry about that. Go after these programs because most of them, uh, it doesn't matter, even if you're legal. Some do, some don't. That's the important thing. All of them don't cost anything. So that's the important thing is that you try and you're trying without spending money. The worst thing to do is try to do something and change your life and spend money doing it because most of it's not going to work. You know? And so you're going to run out of money before anything happens. So that's what I'm trying to do is collect information sources where you could try things that change your life for free. You want to be a, uh, you know, a, a, a internet marketer or something like that? You're going to take somebody's course for $300, $500, dollars $5,000? No. I show you in here where to get that training for free. Oh, I'd say where uh, on this in the one stop. All that stuff about getting a new career. See, they're they're free options, and, and and you don't know about them because they're not. Everybody's not you. See, what we do is go with the herd. So you want to know what's the most popular thing? That's probably the wrong thing. Look how screwed up this country is, doing everything that everybody else is doing. <laughs> <laughs> so to get out of that, you know, you really have to think. This is why I love wearing the question mark suit. I can't fit in. Nobody, <laughs> I can't do it like everybody else. And I think the real opportunity is doing something different. So, I mean, if you think the road to success is having a big uh, degree and, and all that kind of stuff, maybe that is true somewhere sometimes. But if it's true for you, it may not be. And there's alternatives to get there. Uh, and, and that's what I'm trying to do is show people alternatives. That's right. I started all my businesses with zero money, absolutely zero money. Yeah. And actually the first, uh, only the successful businesses, I started with zero money. <laughs> <laughs> the, the businesses that failed, <laughs> it cost me money because I got an MBA. Somebody just asked me uh, 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 on Periscope, how did I start? How did I get into this? Well, here it is. Uh, I got an MBA. Uh, I, I, was, <clears throat> I was in the military, uh, Vietnam, you know, that era, uh, avoiding the draft by joining. <laughs> how many others uh, do you know who's uh, consistently energy in helping others? Let's go for present. Oh, that's nice, Kevin. And, and, and I appreciate that so much. There's nothing anybody could give me that is better than that you know uh to to uh, appreciate what i'm doing in life man that is just the best gift in the world you know and, and kevin you saying that it, it, it is wow i mean that's worth so much because what <clears throat> uh what uh it was it you know, what can be better than to be appreciated? Why do we love somebody so people love us back? You know, why do we work so we, we feel appreciated and worthwhile in society? What else do we have to do before we die? Well, we're going to pile up a, you know, a room full of dollar bills. What are you going to do with that? You know? We're here to help other people, you know, and that's it. We lose, you know, that's the problem with capitalism. We, we think that that's the only thing in life. It's not. It's just a way to keep score a little bit, to see if what you're doing is a value to somebody else. Because if it's not a value, why the hell are you doing it? That's sort of like making love to yourself, you know, and that's not much fun. <laughs> We're here to make love to other people and to help other people, you know, and there's ways to do that. And you don't have to sp uh, spend money to do that, you know, uh, and that's what I'm trying to do is help people do that. Uh, uh, lower crasium is good too. 
I don't know what that word is. <laughs> I flunked English in college. I got an MBA, <laughs> but I flunked it. Uh, do you appreciate by many people as you are so good? Oh, so that is, oh, I mean, that is, what is nicer? I mean, I, I, I don't think I'm different. I think we all have the same feelings inside and they're just some have louder ones than other or little you know the spectrum we all have the whole spectrum it's just how much of what that we have and and that's why i think the key is is finding where our uh, what we are inside that way we could give and the new description uh what if your article 91 for your home. I lost my job and on unemployment. Okay, you lost your job and on unemployment. Okay, if you want to buy something for me, this is it. Uh, let's go.com one stop. Okay, uh, but if you want to start finding the stuff yourself, go here. Okay, Michelle. Uh, <clears throat> go to uh, CF let's go .com, Google sucks <laughs> because it does you're in trouble okay Michelle you don't have money you lost your job you have to turn around okay you're going to Google and you're going to Google things like I need a grant to pay this or I need you know I want to start my own business and all those things that you're going to Google are, are people you're going to literally find 50 to 100 million websites that promise to solve your problem. Now, each of those websites that has promised you to solve your problem, and that's not each, but 99, 44, 100% of those websites want your money to solve the problem. And the truth is they may or may not solve the problem. And 99% of the time it won't. Okay. So that's why what I'm trying to show you is just the free things. You know, the things that don't cost any money to solve your problem. There's still no guarantee and nothing is. But if you're spending money trying to uh, get hope, you should do, particularly when you have no money, see that is really the scam in life. People are charging you <clears throat> for things, you know, that you really don't have to pay for. There are all our alternatives. The problem is we don't know our alternatives. So we go to what is readily available and that's some huckster <laughs> on the internet, you know, who's promising you something. A and you don't have to do that because there's something better. Yes, I can't afford what they want. Don't, don't, don't. Here's a rule of thumb that I use and I teach you in, in this book, cf.lesco.com slash Google sucks. That's a free download, videos, instruction, and everything. Do not use a website that is .com. <laughs> Only use .org, O-R-G, or .gov, uh, G-O-V. They're the ones that won't charge because they don't make money off of you. Hi, Matt, I am disabled, 755 month. How do I get help? Okay, uh, how do you get help disabled, disabled in Michigan? Lots of ways, there's lots of things. It's gonna take effort. Everything takes effort. That's the other problem with us in our society. We all sell it, everything like, hey, this is so easy by Tuesday. Yeah, and I did infomercials like that too. I get caught in that. Uh, and, and my justification for doing it is really to educate and let get people to try. And uh, and what I try to also do, I've seen you somewhere. Oh yeah, I'm vice, yeah. I, I boycotted effort. Great, Jack, I want one. Yeah, I just... Get an old jacket and have somebody sew these on. That's what I did. Uh, but it, 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 that's why I, I give anybody any money back. You feel I swindled you, and I'll give you your money back on questions asked. You can come back next year, <laughs> 10 years from now, if I'm still alive, I'll still give you your money back. You got to, the important thing is that you try, you learn about this stuff. You know? So uh, I, I'm passionate about it because I believe in it. You know, I've been doing this for 40 years. I've seen too many rich millionaires use all this stuff. Uh, I'm going to add brewski. <laughs> brewski. Uh, it, it, and that's what frustrates me. I mean, I learned all this stuff by helping Fortune 500 clients, you know, uh, do this stuff. And, and, and oh, about starting and all the businesses that made money, I started with no money. You know, so you don't need money to start a business. And now it's even easier. You will ever, you will never die. Government has a program to keep you alive. Yes, actually, in the, in my one stop, 
I have a whole bunch of things there. <laughs> How not to pay for bur burial expenses. <laughs> so when I do that, I'm going to go out free. <laughs> and that's see, but they don't advertise. You're going to see the burial people, whatever you call them, undertakers. So I'm broke AF. I have been most of my life. I'm trying to get nothing. Uh, I'll try it got I got nothing to lose yes and now what you want to do in being broke okay let's say you're broke and, and you got nothing to lose there's two things I mean first of all you find all the programs that you're available because you have no money and that's what my uh, 327 uh, 327 programs here I put them together for your state. They're state by state. It's all mixed beliefs to run back out and being scared. I want to start my own business at home. And I have a balance with everything. I was struggling to make ends meet. Uh, that is how they want us to stay. Michelle, it, yes, I mean, it uh, means, uh, means as fuck. Uh, uh, I mean, you, you're in a way, some people do, but it's not the majority. If you only, there's a lot of bad shit in life, a lot of bad people, people, everything is screwed up. That's all true. But what do you do? There's two things. I, I, but it's not 100%. You know, it's like me saying, well, all blonde women are stupid. Now, that's stupid to say that. So it's, I remember you with a bunch of books. Yes, and I don't do books anymore. It's all on the internet. And, and, and so it, it, it is. I mean, it's true. There's a lot of blondes, stupid blondes. Yeah. <laughs> and I know a lot of stupid brunettes. <laughs> so you could say that and be right. But it's not universal. And the trick in life is if you have things to do yourself, is not to bitch about that, is find the good stuff, you know, and, and work on that because there are wonderful people in this world that are doing wonderful things and, and, and they're fun to be around. And there's a lot of assholes who, who are doing shitty things and not fun to be around. And a minority certificate and Sam, I've been working on this since. What is that, Anna? Is that to sell to the government? So how do I get this finished? <clears throat> uh, I don't know. It wants to give me money when my FAFSA got canceled after the semester even. Well, if one, I mean, there are 17,000 programs. When one program cancels you, that doesn't mean you're not eligible for any of the other 17,000 programs. Uh, so you, you, you can't bitch about that. You could complain first. And if you have a legitimate r reason like that FAFSA thing, okay, then go to your elected official. Go to your elected official. I tell you how to about do that as cflesco.com. Google sucks uh, there and go to your elected official and they'll tell you about that and, and to, to start that process to make sure you got treated fairly. But just start looking other places. That's what it is. Are you the guy from the commercials I used to see? Yes, that was me with brown hair or whatever the hell they had then. <laughs> but Sam, Anna, uh, I don't know, is that a, a being, a, a, a getting eligible for a government stuff? Yes, you work with the government. Okay, there are people, you know, and uh, if you hear, I have a, re, a report here for like uh, on business, let's go.com business that shows you about how to get, um, free help for your business on anything. It's $20. You download it and it gives you step by step. These are experts that will help you for free to get that government certification. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I can only offer everyone direction. Uh, giving. Let's go. Can I only offer everyone a direction to go? No one else is responsible for your life. Right, Kevin. I mean, that, that's it. And But see, to me, what I'm hoping is to give people hope to start doing something. If you're looking at all the bad shit in life, life, a uh, love that you're still going where you If you look at it all, the, thank you. Uh, if you're looking at all the bad shit in your life, you think life is terrible. Well, yes, it is. <laughs> life is dreadful. <laughs> It is, it is brutal. And what my wife, who had an aunt, or 80, 95 or something, we were talking to her in the nursing home, and she's sitting there looking at the flowers out her window and saying, "Oh, how life is wonderful and everything." And I just stopped her, looked her. I didn't know her that well, and I looked at her and I said, "You really think life is that beautiful?" And she looked at me, cold stone, you know, and just looked at me in the eye, said, "No." 
life is brutal. And when I heard a 95 year old sweet lady look at me and say, life is brutal, man, that was so reassuring. <laughs> it doesn't mean you get a break. Seems like uh, times like God hates me. Yeah, we, we do. And that's why it's nice to have loved ones. So you feel that. Uh, that's why I think that even full time or part time, you're giving to other people. So you get positive feedback from that. That's what's so nice to have a business. If you're giving from other people, so that way you, you're you're getting money and that 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 comfort you get from other people in society. Hey, this is you know I appreciate what you're doing. Nothing, I think. Do you have children? They're not children anymore, but yes, <laughs> two boys in their mid thirties. Yeah, uh, and they're cool. And kids to me are the only thing in life I found that were better than I thought it would be. Yeah, <laughs> that's sort of fun. Uh, I didn't start having kids till I was almost 40. You know, I thought I'd never have it. Did they get free college money? Yes, yes, we got not all of it, but some of it, even at my income level. That's what I mean, it doesn't matter. You know, and, and, and I would be careful about even thinking that a college degree is gonna solve your problem, particularly if you're low income. It, 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 there's a lot of data out now. I hope to do a report on it. College may not be worth it anymore. And, and this is real good statistical data that people lower income and get college, it, 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 it's not working out too well. Yeah, you know I mean, it's not, a, see, nothing is definite one way or another. I need help for college funding. Okay, nothing is positive 100% of the time. So that's why it, it life it is threading the needle. You know, Sue, need inspiration to find resources to live and eat? Any ideas where I can start? Yes, researching has given me dead ends. Yes, because you're doing what is, is uh, generally accepted. Now, if you're looking for, this is what I'm trying to do with the one stop. This is 327 places of government money to solve any problems where you got to fix up your house, fix up your car, <laughs> fix up your teeth, all those kinds of things of living expenses, pay the rent or whatever. You need any of those kind of help are there. Then a third of it is how to generate income, you know, by not spending money, whether it's starting little businesses, using platforms. See, I think there's more ways to set, you know, uh, to create money now in our society than ever. I mean, you could take care of somebody else's pets while they go on vacation. And people are making thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year like that. You know, uh, oh, uh, yes, lesgo.com, free lesgo.com slash top 50. That's my top 50 things, and that's on sale too. I want to make my own business. I never want to work for nobody. Yes, that's becoming more and more possible. And, and they, But there's different ways. You do not need money to do that. It's a little complicated, but it, it is. Now, the problem is you think, do you give money, not just advice. No, I don't give money. I show you where the money is. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and oh, do they give money, not just advice? I'm not sure. Some do just give advice. If it's got sources, I do. Some are money, some are advice, some are both. The, the other problem, uh, good morning, first time here. Good. <laughs> now, I haven't been on uh, <clears throat> um, uh, Periscope in a long time because I used to, I'm currently getting a master's in entrepreneurship. Great. Uh, I got an MBA back in the 70s and it took me two failing businesses to unlearn all that. Now, at least they, they didn't have entrepreneurship courses at the time. So now they do. But remember, anybody, how do you one go about getting money to fix teeth? That's at the local level. OK, uh, you're not going to find it in a federal program. Start with your county uh, health department. Contact your county health department. I mean, there are dozens and dozens. Of, like I got pissed off at my dentist. Now I make a good living. Yeah. And because he was charging too much cleaning my teeth. What I did, I went to local university and got a my teeth clean and x-rays and all this kind of stuff, professional help for a fraction of what he was charging. And look at, I'm so-called fat cat and got that for free, you know. <laughs> but other people who don't have the money don't know about it. I want to make sure that this is real. Minimum wage you know, it, it, it is not enough in this economy. Yes, you're right. Uh, so you have to learn how to live cheaper. It's survival. You want to change the system it is the uh, role of an advocacy. You could do that part time, but the one stop link is broken. What? The home page not working. One stop. Now, oh, let me see. Uh, somebody said it's living. I hate to have that. <laughs> 
let's go dot com slash one stop. Now I got there. Let's go dot com slash one stop. All small cap, small letters. One stop is small letters. Okay, I uh, done that. You're smart. I like to pick your brain more. If people want to really talk, here uh, I charge a dollar a minute. And usually in 15, 20 minutes, uh, I could show you and uh, understand. I mean, and and also what I'm good at is, is sort of. Uh, and this is lesgo.com slash talk, sort of like coaching, you know, but I see coaches charge like a thousand dollars a month Well, for 20 bucks. I could get you on your way. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I mean, I, I they, they get away with it. Lesgo must also be reading from a site like Discord. I'm not sure what that meant. <laughs> a site like Discord. Uh, let's see. Where was my... Uh, let's go must also be reading grants or free money uh, grants and free money are the same thing uh, and that's why but don't say grants because grants only represent 20% of all the free money the government has so if you say you're looking for a grant uh, never give it I, I never give free advice well I, I'm happy to give free advice but I also <laughs> I also have to pay mortgages and stuff like that. So it's a combination. Also, even free, but like here, this is free. I'm giving you the same kind of thing that, that if you called me. So it's just not as personal. Uh, but it, it, the more important thing is educating. The more people I get educated about alternatives, that means you're not controlled by some uh, by somebody selling you something. Uh, that means you, you're more self-directed. And I think that's the important thing. Discord is another YouTube type channel. Many tubers uh, live stream from two or three websites. So, yeah, I've been live streaming at four, at, at four, but I don't know about this one. It's called Discord. Discord.com, is that it? Um, uh, no, thanks, Anonymous. I, I didn't know about that. No, I usually do. Uh, I have two Facebook pages. Actually, here, here's a, a, a Facebook page you should look at. Facebook.com free money news. That's where I put up lots and lots of free sources. So people want to start their own film business and things like that. I'm giving you lots of help there. You know, uh, and that's everything there is free. This is where I put stuff before I even put them in the books. Truly, the cruelest heart is true. Uh, I have... Uh, at this point, I have lost all faith uh, in humanity. Truly, the cruelest heart is tru truly man. Yes, it can be. Yeah, that's all you know. I, I can't look in the hearts of a dog. <laughs> Most of them, and there's mean dogs, right? Uh, or they're treated to be mean. And I think that's probably what happens uh, to humans. You know? uh, they grow up thinking life is like that. Like uh, somebody I know in downtown Washington like that. Uh, that the only way to succeed is being mean, being mean. And, and that's not rewarding inside to me. Uh, free money news. Yes. Facebook.com free money news. Um, and that's where you get, uh, I put a uh, lots of my free stuff there, uh, as I'm doing research. Like I just found out how to make money taking care of a loved one. I mean, the government pays you like you know, 15 bucks an hour or so, depending on where you live, you know, because they don't want a person to have to go into a nursing home and charge a lot of money. So you as a friend, a loved one or nobody could make money doing that. You know, so there's so many ways like that now to make money that that's why the one stop, I'm showing you all those kinds of ways. You could go up to your closet and find all the clothes you're not wearing anymore. And there's websites now like send you a box of clothes and just send it and they send you cash back. Man, I trust a man is a fool who trusts only in God, a wise man, but has God forgotten me? A man who trusts in man is only a fool. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know who God is. I mean, there's something bigger than us. I don't know what it is or who it is. I haven't been there yet. <laughs> I guess when I get there, <laughs> if there is a there there, you know, and, and that sort of is an interesting intellectual struggle. But man, I want to spend my time doing stuff, helping people, trying to figure out what's going on. And that's more interesting. What's going on later? <laughs> you know, <laughs> talk about the Federal Trade Commission, who you should uh, uh, do about you know false advertising. Who could verify any of that stuff? You know, the same question I've been asking for ten uh, comments doesn't get ignored, but one comment gets noticed. Uh, 
Yes, I, I don't know what you mean now. Any info on free money grants for holistic integrative medicine? Well, yes, uh, NIH has a, a system like that that gives out grants for um, alternative medicine, uh, but you have to be more creative than that. That's usually for researchers and stuff like that. To me, something like that, I would start look free money for a holistic healthcare. Well, see, I think that's the wrong way to approach things, Anonymous. You're looking for free money to help care. No, you want to be in the healthcare business. You want to know how to do it, not just look for money to do it. No, you want to know, because just think if there was other ways to do that. See, by looking just for money, you cut out everything else. Uh, you're looking for a grant to do that. No, well, what about crowdfunding? You have a healthcare. Maybe you have a way to solve, uh, Healthcare problems for uh, people in senior centers, like the elderly, that if they just live this way, it'd be great. So you want to do a fundraising campaign uh, on uh, uh, a crowdfunding campaign to raise money to get that set up. Maybe you need 20 grand, 50 grand, or whatever it is. I've almost died several times. I even tried to kill myself, but no success. Well, that's what I think. I mean. It hurts, you know, when I hear that. Uh, and, and to get better because a rel relative is sick. Uh, based on deck, heaven do it. All the work for the living and the Lesko does too. He does here to offer you something as part of his work based on his decades of work. Yes. Oh, Kevin. Yes. <laughs> I need you as my PR guy. <laughs> and I guess that's it. I mean, it's part selfish. But see, I think we're all selfish and why we're selfish, but don't, we don't know how to be selfish. Why don't God let me just die already? Well, you know, I mean, to me, boy, I can't certainly give advice because your life is different than mine. I, I can't, you know, we can't understand anybody. We don't even know what to do with our own life, let alone recommend something to do with somebody else's life. Uh, I think that is probably the most, uh, oh, conceited thing people do that, uh, that, that they think they could tell somebody else what to do with your life. I'm only suggesting alternatives. Like I say, uh, they have, nobody has the right to tell anybody else to do with their life. You know? uh, but I want to do a show you alternatives, whatever. And to me, stop being so negative, life and death well, and power of struggle. Yeah, I mean, to me, that's right. If I get blue and things like that, that's what really the question mark suit does for me. I go outside, people look at me and they smile. I say, oh shit, there's my best people out in life. <laughs> that's something. You have to have, start having fun. Uh, so you radiate that and bring fun back to you. If you're moody and shit like that, you know, people aren't going to go out of their way <laughs> unless a real loved one, <laughs> and they're hard to find, uh, and going to help you with that. So you have to do that somehow. Let's have religion. And poor me syndrome is okay. Well, let's go simply offering possibilities, whatever you <laughs> right. And, and, but see, that's why right. to me, uh, if I feel blue, I get in the question mark suit, go out, people treat me nicer. I said, geez, I don't, I'm still the same asshole inside. Yeah. <laughs> Outside, inside the suit. But what it does, so that's why to me, our, our selfishness comes from giving. I think giving is the most selfish thing you could do in the world. So if you're really depressed, you go and volunteer somewhere and give. Start giving yourself to somebody and do something. You know, uh, doing nothing just is a sinkhole. You know, and I could get in there too. Uh, yeah, we're, we're all self-destructive and ha have that ability to do that. Uh, and that's why if you're giving, get something bigger than you to worry about. It's easy to worry about you because life is shit. You know, life is terrible. <laughs> Yeah. It's brutal. As my 95 year old, you know, uh, who is she? My wife's aunt. So she's not my aunt, right? It said, life is brutal. Um, brutal. So if you've got to get through this brutal life, you might as well have fun doing it. And don't wait to have fun when you get a million dollars. No, that's terrible. My daughter's home is in Missouri. Uh, uh, um, in Missouri is unavailable and she is now living in a van. Are there programs that fix her home? Yes, uh, I have them all in the one stop or in the one, uh, I do custom research just for housing. But in the one stop, actually, if she just do, does this, you show you is a place to start researching yourself. Remember, you only look for uh, towards, uh, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you says, the Lord plans to prosper you and give destiny. Wow. 
well, that would be nice. <laughs> do they know my check number? <laughs> I mean, we, we have to do it. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the so download this Google sucks thing. Um, it's cf.lesco.com, Google sucks. And that will get us start trying to research that. If you have a problem, do that. She has a, a housing problem. Uh, have her search for this in Missouri. HUD. Dot gov. Just go to HUD.gov. Look for counseling. Okay. HUD.gov counseling. She'll find nonprofit organizations locally that get grants to help her with their housing problem. They know a lot of the problem, uh, the programs. Yeah, they don't know everything, but it's a place to start. There's very few things in life that you can go to one stop. <laughs> I'm selling one stop trying to make that place. But no, it, they're really just starting places. So if you go to Google and start, you're going to be in a rabbit hole, you know, within three or four searches and never get out of it. Yeah. You know, so that's why, damn, uh, you haven't changed in these three decades from those crazy TV ads. No, and I, I don't, I figure I got two more decades too. I'm going to keep doing this shit. <laughs> and it's better than playing lousy golf. I mean, I grew up in an era where, at 60, you retire and go to Florida and play golf for the rest of your life. What could be more boring than to do something that you're lousy at? How good of a golfer can you be at 60 or 70 or 80? But man, you could have more fun. You know what I also found that what you could do better when you get older? Uh, uh, in a descriptive box on your video here, uh, when you get a chance, <laughs> uh, the, what I could do when I get older, uh, what is I gonna, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh, I know the one thing I could do better. I can't hit a golf ball further. I can't run faster. I, I can't do, but actually, you know, last year or so we started running faster all of a sudden. I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> and then I got another pain and I got to walk that off for a while. Uh, but what I can do better than when I was younger is love. Man, see, that's one heart, that's one muscle that you could grow for the rest of your life <laughs> is love. I can do that better than a 20 year old. <laughs> they can run faster than me. <laughs> they can hit a golf ball faster than me or, or shoot baskets better than me. Or I can love harder because I've been practicing. <laughs> and that's a, see, I mean, that's a great part of life, you know? Uh, so we can't forget about that. Every, nobody, where is the course about your heart or love in the MBA program? Nowhere. And and who's getting a, a, a degree in entrepreneurism? Okay. Uh, I think golf clubs secretly have strippers visits. <laughs> uh, oh, golf club. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I belong to some of them. Uh, oh, me. But uh, yeah, see, I mean, to me, it's fine. I mean, they're, they're, education can never be bad. But if you're going into debt, I think that's bad. Uh, and actually starting a business, you don't need an education. You need an MBA to work for somebody else. Yeah. And that's all it does. No, when you start a business, nobody's going to ask you, do you have an MBA? I'm not going to buy that. It's just whether that shit is good or bad. <laughs> the only thing that's important in business is getting a customer. Forget about getting an MBA, forget uh, getting an LLC, forget about getting a lawyer, an accountant, or any of those other things, or a business plan. No, forget it. It all means bullshit. It's only for other bureaucrats you know, who want it. Uh, and, and what you want to do is get a customer. You got to figure out how to get a customer. So find something that you could sell, whether it's a service or something like that, um, and find a customer. It's going to take you, you know, a lot of time. It's going to take you a lot of pain because you're going to get rejection. You're going to get, but that's the only way you're going to figure out how to start a business. You're not going to figure out how to start a business by learning how to write a business plan because your customers don't give a shit about your business plan. They give a about you and what you're selling. And, and, and the people who want a business plan are people who, who are going to give you money. Uh, uh, and, and so the people who give you money don't know if your business is going to work. So that's why you're trying to please them, the people who are going to give you money, and they don't know. Listen to this. Okay, uh, we have uh, venture capitalists, you know, Shark Tank, these kinds of people. These venture capitalists, okay, are wrong 85% of the time. 85% of the time. They sit there like, you know, <laughs> uh, some guru on the mountain thinking they know the answers to everything. No, they're wrong. 85, the average small business is only, <laughs> uh, only 50% wrong or fail, but 85% of venture capitalists fail. 
So well, why are they so smart? Just because they, they're, they're not smart, they just have money. <laughs> right? So everybody thinks they're smart. It's crazy what happens. So just take your idea, try to find a customer, you know, uh, with the least amount of input and just see sort of, <laughs> God, for, you know, 20 cents, you have a, a store, you know, uh, if you find the next Apple. Okay, but that's build up. You don't find the next Apple by finding a million dollars. No, they didn't do that. They tinkered in their garage and, and, and little steps at a time. But the people go to big fancy business schools, you know, and learn how to bullshit and they could bullshit you know, the, the venture capitalists to give them them because people have a lot of money. They're, they're hoping that somebody else, uh, they could ride somebody else's back to give money. So they're looking for smart people like that, but they're wrong 95, 85% of the time. So why, why, why get in that game? Go out and get a customer. That's the, that's the key to business is customers, not trying to fool some <laughs> fool. <laughs> Anyone with a business idea has a chance of making it. Yes, I believe that. Uh, uh, Shark Tank seems to be losers. Real venture capitalists go overseas to invest in infrastructure. Well, it depends on what you call by venture capitalists. Uh, the problem is, is that uh, uh, <laughs> we get people who are struggling and want to do something think that this is so special. The feds legalize sports, gambling, yes, but won't legalize marijuana. Well, we're getting there. <laughs> it, it, it's uh, in the vote. Uh, the last election, marijuana got more votes than the president's. <laughs> more people voted for legalizing marijuana for, than for any candidate. <laughs> so we're getting there. Things don't happen overnight. Yeah. Uh, but you got to learn to live in the meantime. So that's why a lot of things. So in the my one stop here, I got a lot of, uh, you know, a third of that is ways to make extra income like that. You know, uh, like, like selling stuff you don't need, man. I just made a couple hundred bucks selling stuff that I had in the ad for no reason at all there's like you could have a garage sale without a uh, without a garage you know just people come and give you cash pick it up or or, or you could there's now yeah you, know, you want you you need a, a couple of bucks you know you could deliver food for just a couple hours and make 50 bucks or something like that for the day you know uh, if you have a car it doesn't matter what kind of car you have you know uh, you, you can <laughs> you know, go help somebody out because they don't know anything so if they don't know you're there seeing these platforms they take care of the insurance they care take care of them, making sure you get paid they take care of everything so it's so easy now easier than any time in the history of mankind before well actually any time since the industrial revolution <laughs> let's say to start that because we didn't have businesses before we were all tradesmen right you take your shoes to the shoemaker we're getting back to that now we're outsourcing everything i found a guy that that makes money he makes a living teaching the fathers of the bride how to do their first dance <laughs> At the, at the wedding. Wow. So, see, what's now is you don't need to be a, and there's not a, a, what, what, you know, mass markets. You know, that's what, when I was in doing business, I was looking for mass markets. How can I get in Walmart and sell millions and millions of copies, go on TV and sell millions and millions of copies. Now, no, that's over <laughs> because there, the, when I started, there were only half a dozen channels. <laughs> now there's millions of channels, right? So now we have not, not mass markets. We have masses of markets and you don't need a million customers. You need 12 and you could find them no matter how crazy they are on the internet. So you learn that. You take a free course on, and learning that. You go to uh, a free meetup group. You don't pay somebody $500 to do that. No. How are you going to pay somebody $500 uh, you know, uh, to learn how to walk? No. You go fall on your ass a hundred times. That's what a kid does, right? So you want to learn something new now? You go fall on your ass a hundred times. You know, uh, <laughs> And that's the best way to learn. Man, we think we've thrown money at something and see the people out there are smart enough. Uh, all I need is five patients, right? See, that's all you need. So you got to find those five patients. That's all. And you have to be creative about doing that. And sure you want money and you think that will. Uh, so if somebody gave you money for your health care, whatever uh, uh, thing, and, and you put all these ads and everything, that's not sustainable. All you're doing is giving money to somebody else on ads that won't work. You don't know what works. No, you have to go out one by one and start getting uh, 
customers. You know, you do a YouTube video like this. Maybe you get one in the first month or something. That's enough. That you, you got to, you're, you're a step forward. You're a huge step forward because you have nothing now. You know, and so having one after busting your ass, you know, eight hours a week <laughs> or eight hours a day for three months of who cares what you do the last three months yeah <laughs> yeah that's the important thing that you're moving towards something not just hoping there's a big pot of gold that's going to fall out of the sky you know it won't you know uh, uh, sure it happens occasionally but it won't to you <laughs> <laughs> to me, I promise you just help. Little ways to help. Little help to create ideas. You go out and fail at these things. If you start failing at these things, they're going to teach you something you never even thought of. And that's the important thing. You don't know the answer now because you're not in there doing it. You're, you're taking an answer now based on hearsay. You read about it. You think. Well, that's not real. I realize when you're actually doing it and finding the answer yourself. Yeah. That's what life is all about. Yeah. And that's what I want to do is make sure people are not spending money going through that process when they don't have to. You know, there's too many ways to learn. You don't know what the hell you're doing anyway. Yeah. And the people advising you don't know what the hell to do because they don't know what the hell to do with their own life. <laughs> We're all struggling. <laughs> you really may say open heart. If anyone else <laughs> feels the same, then click the like of this video. Wow, see my PR guy, Kevin. Yay, Kevin. <laughs> but it is, but it's selfish, Kevin. I mean, I feel the best when I'm giving you my best, which is my authenticity. If I'm trying to figure out what you want, and that's what marketing is, trying to figure out what you want and, and telling you what you want to hear. Do you ever take a date out? Yeah, you're trying <laughs> yeah. But it's not real. We learn from the past as well. Yes, that's how we all learn. <laughs> Free money to start a hedge fund. That's not for me. Go somewhere else, anonymous. <laughs> I don't know. But you're right. There's a lot of idiots out there. Now there you have to find somebody <laughs> what they want to say. But I know nothing about it. Yeah. <laughs> Not interested at all. <laughs> Who the hell wants to? What are you going to do with a billion dollars? You know? I mean, it, it just, you, you, boy, I, I don't know what it is in our society that we think the more stuff we have, the better. And most of the things I found I did in my early life was really impress other people. I mean, getting on Oprah and things like that. Oh, that was great and everything. But. <laughs> It's fleeting. It's like ice cream. It feels great, right? <laughs> but it's not sustainable. It's not as this one on one. Look, I I almost have an hour talking with you. Oprah, I'd have ten minutes, and that was it. You know, I can't show the best I got. I got to figure out what is the three things. Uh, yes, uh, uh, I was on her show about three times. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and when she saw me the first time, she looked at me and said, "Well, let's go. You gotta be." <laughs> What'd she say? Something like. Uh, real comfortable with yourself to dress like that. <laughs> and I wasn't. It took a hard time to dress like this. This is it was in me since I was 10 years old, you know, and, and it was something that and I never came out to my 50s. And I wish I did it in my 30s, man, because it's it, sure it's just, I, you have to struggle anyway. What the fuck? You know, <laughs> life is going to be a struggle no matter what you do. So you might as well have fun doing it. That's the key. How many question mark jackets do you have? About 30. I cleared it out. I'm down about 20. I got I, I'm going to have a, a, a fundraiser soon in my old question mark suits. So stay tuned. I'm going to uh, sell them. You want to buy an old question mark suit? I'm going to give the money to libraries. Libraries are just a great thing. You want to know how to use a computer? Then start at your library, man. You want to know how to fix up your house? Start at your library. We have researchers there for free that will help you do this. You could book a librarian in a lot of uh, places too. They have book a librarian. You call up. Okay, I'll be there Thursday at 10 o'clock, and you get a half hour, to, and they show you information sources. They know a lot of things in the community so, uh, that's going on, not just uh, on. on you know, in books. No, they're more hip than that. Anonymous, ain't my head, crowdfunding uh, for sick relatives. I'll look at it. No, I, I think something like that. And, and But see, what crowdfunding, I think, is important. That's what I put in my um, uh, reports on starting a business is how to use it. Because if you don't have a, a, a big mailing list or big following and all that kind of stuff, if you don't have that, what you need is... Uh, 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 
is that to be successful? I mean, you could get lucky and it may not happen. It's good to try anyway. Wow, it's free government money. Yes, it is. Uh, and, 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 and that's okay too. But if you hook up with a nonprofit, see, that's why with healthcare, that's a nonprofit. You're going to solve health problems. Okay, you find a nonprofit that, to work with, you know, and you use their list. And now, listen to this you could get $10,000 a month of marketing money as a nonprofit, but you're not a nonprofit. Don't become one just for that. Work with a nonprofit. Then you get that money and you do a project together because they have the list. That's the most important thing is the list because they have the list that uh, to start with to find people don't. They're looking for other programs to raise money for their nonprofit. So you're giving them in the hands of a project that their nonprofit can make extra money with and you're doing all the work. So you do that and use them and then you say, uh, and then you share that money with them. See, that's the way to do it. See, there's other ways. See, the same way with the entrepreneuring kind of thing. You know, you find somebody, Bitcoin, don't know anything about it. I mean, I do. Uh, actually, I was interviewed. <laughs> <laughs> right now, it's a scam for 99% of people. Sure, there's some people making money, but it's not long term for you. Uh, maybe, maybe not. But why bother? Uh, you because you're you're uh, because you're you're dealing with sharks. These are people who are just trying to get you to buy, so their value of their Bitcoin goes up, and nobody knows what the hell it is yet. So you want to play that game? That's fine. You have money to lose. You don't have money to lose. That's a stupid thing to do. I think <laughs> it's disappointing to hear you say that. Yeah, but I, that's just one person's opinion. A lot of people, I mean, I, I think the technology is very important. I mean, it, it's going to be here forever. Uh, but who, what, where, how, you know, and if you're start a, is trying to start a life, unless you know the shit on it, if you're going to compete with somebody who's studying this 24 hours a day and have been doing it for the last three or four years, pfft, that's like, say, I want to play football, and I'm going to play the Super Bowl on Sunday. <laughs> You're going to get killed. You know, who's going to? <laughs> they have to make money. The only way they make money is they get other suckers in there uh, to think they're going to make money. You know? and, 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 but they already figured out how to do it. Um, so that's a work with nonprofits to get, uh, get $10,000. Yes. Uh, what is an example of a nonprofit? Uh, well, they have to be, you can get a list of nonprofits in, in your state uh, uh, by going to your state capital and get a list. If you go to something called Guide Star, Guide Star, you were on TV. Yes, were you? <laughs> I used to do TV. Now, now, I, now I'm on my iPhone. <laughs> Boy, life changes, doesn't it? Uh, and GuideStar.com, there's a list of all the pro nonprofits that give out money. Uh, and, and, and that's, uh, and also your library. You go to the library, they have a database that you can get inside the database to find about all the nonprofits in your state and what they, they want to invest in. So you could find like all the nonprofits that want to make life better for seniors okay that's available so they're the people you contact why contact trying to get you know fifty thousand dollars for somebody you don't even know who the hell your market is yet you go out the first thing you want to do is yeah in the commercial that better not copyright infringing suit what well, that better not be a copyright <laughs> i don't know <laughs> you'll find out don't ask permission yeah just you know Say you're sorry if you did something wrong. You know, and actually, people used to try to sue me or tell me you did something wrong. I got so much publicity out of it. You know, uh, are you a Keynesian or an Austrian economist? I don't know. Probably they're a little bit of the same. I, it, it, you can't. Um, there's good and bad in everything. You know, I, I, I think you have to solve problems. You can't be an ideologue. You can't be uh, ask for forgiveness. That's it exactly. Uh, you can't. I mean, to me. Yes, having a label is like gluttony. So you find everything that will solve every problem. And it doesn't. Sometimes something a little socialist solves a problem. Sometimes a little capitalist solves a problem. Something, it depends on the problem. Yeah, so that's why when, when, when you de declare some kind of ideology, then you, it's like a, a lawyer. They see a legal problem everywhere. Uh, you got a hammer. Everything looks like a nail, you know, uh, as they say. So it's really solving problems. Uh, which is more interesting to me. Uh, any advice concerning what some believe are complicated grant programs? Complicated to get into. Um, um, the answer is yes, they're complicated, but the ones you want aren't. 90% <laughs> of the programs that give out free money, particularly in the government, are just three or four pages fill in the blanks. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, and, and, but you think of grants, he grants, and that's all because of language, you know, language is the biggest problem. You're saying you want a grant. So then anybody who says grant, 
applications are complicated. All right. Anybody who says free money applications are free, I mean, are easy. That's right. Uh, now, if you call and many people say grants are free money, uh, why does free money matter? It, it's not sound, if it's not sound money. Don't know what you mean by sound money. Free money. I mean, this is money you get without having to pay back. Uh, so to me, that's free money. Whether it's a grant, whether it's a direct payment, we give an average. The government, listen to this. Government gives an average of twenty-two thousand dollars per family in free money every year. That's how much it is. That's an average. Average. Some are getting a shitload more. <laughs> yeah, and it's amazing that uh, well, that people don't realize that. Yeah, you know? and that's why when people. And the fat cats know about this. They work so hard at getting more free money from the government. Like right now in the tax bill, okay. The tax bill, the rich people figured out how to get an extra trillion dollars. So we just gave a trillion dollars of tax money to rich people. Say like the top 20% of income earners in this country got a trillion dollars from the government. Okay. Now, so if you're rich and there's some hocus pocus, they say, if we give all this money to the rich people, that they're going to create jobs. Okay. Now, most of them don't even have a job, right? <laughs> they just have money and they don't have to work. Uh, so we have no requirements. The only thing is that you're rich and you can get this trillion dollars uh, and, and the rest of us have to pay for it. So the rest of us are going to pay extra taxes to pay off a trillion dollars that we gave for the rich people. Now they're talking about cutting the SNAP program. SNAP, S-N-A-P, is the old food stamp. This is money to go to poor people who can't afford food. Okay, they want to cut like $20 billion out of this. Billion, not trillion, billion, which is a fraction, fraction, fraction of a trillion. They want to cut out $20 billion by making people who get food stamps or the food money work. They say, you lazy son of a bitch, we're not going to give you money unless you work for food. So we're not going to feed you. Lip. If you're a millionaire, <laughs> you can get tens, hundreds of thousands of dollars for free and there's no requirement. <laughs> <laughs> There's no requirement for me to work if I'm a millionaire and I get that you know, money from the tax cut thing. It's cut already. I get 20, 22 a month. Uh, yeah, see, that's what they're. And so we have requirements for poor people, no requirements and <laughs> work requirements for rich people. See, I mean, just like, you know, the, the venture capitalists, they're wrong 85% of the time, but they must be right because they're rich. No, <laughs> they're not. Look at the data. Data talks. <laughs> that's it. It's still growing strong. Yeah, that's it. That's it. By the way, I started this today, wanted to make sure that people know I have a free download. And this free download was really shows you about, uh, it's a book I sell for uh, 20, oh, disabled veteran, get this. Uh, I sell for $20 uh, on my store, I'm, I'm putting it free for a while, just to educate people the kinds of things that are out there. So if you have trouble buying a car, fixing up a car, or, or paying car payments, these are over 100 government programs all across the country. They take effort to find, they take work, or whatever, uh, to make sure you get it. There may or may not work for you, but this is reality. This is how you win, to me, is you go hard at things that are difficult. If you don't do that, you're not gonna do bupkis, yeah? But see, you'll never find. Well, look at this list and see this list. See if you could find these on Google by putting in free cars or something like that. Uh, it's free.lesco.com slash cars two, all small letters in cars. Free.lesco.com uh, slash cars two. Okay, so that's all small letters that car. So just see that. I got videos in there, tell you how to use them. Uh, I wish you could run for president. I definitely would have voted for you. <laughs> well, there weren't a lot of options this last time, were there? <laughs> but that sounds like too much like a job. <laughs>
I'm having too much fun. <laughs> I watch you forever. Best pitch man ever. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know that uh, that was in me. I thought I could never be a salesman because sales to me was like, you know, I was trying to shove some insurance policy down your throat, you know. <laughs> I, I couldn't do that. Yeah, this is not selling. Yeah, <laughs> this is educating. Yeah, I said teach computer science back in the seventies. Yeah, uh, and, and that's what it's all about. So go to uh, free.lesco.com/cars2. Download that report now. Whether you need a car or not, because that will show you I can stay at work because I can get paid. Yes, you have to get paid. You have to take care of yourself. Yeah, I don't want a job either. Oh, oh. Oh, more work, more time. Yes, there are ways to do that. You don't need as much money as you think because you're doing that. There's other ways to do these things. And that's why in my one stop, I have like 150 ways to make extra income that's not on somebody's salary. And it's not that difficult anymore. You're an independent person. And, and, and the platforms take care of the insurance. They take care of... Uh, you know, and getting customers. You still have to hustle. Man, you have to hustle. You have to hustle to do anything. If you're not ready to hustle, then just sit home and watch YouTube videos. <laughs> but watch the ones that are going to teach you how to hustle or do something that don't cost money. See, everybody teaching you how to hustle really wants to get your money. Now, I do too. So, uh, you know, because I, I can't keep doing this unless... Uh, uh, you know, I earn income to pay my way. Yeah. And, and so that's why to me, it's a balancing act. Yeah. Uh, and the problem is capitalism. All they think about is income. You know, everything. If it doesn't make money, then we got to get rid of that. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's just see, a silly way to live because we, we got uh, life is bigger than that. Yeah. And, and then it becomes shallow and then it becomes miserable and you're fighting people. And that's why uh, we fight each other because we think that if somebody else gets the money that I won't, ah, world is bigger than that. Right. It's sort of like love, man. I can when I had my first kid, man, I had so much love for this first kid. Then I had another kid who said, how am I going to love another kid? Holy shit. You know, I can never love that hard. And then, wow, it happens. See, uh, all the good things in life <laughs> are not zero sum. They're, <laughs> they're it's, uh, you know, uh, economics, I still don't understand, even though I got an MBA in it. <laughs> Make me free, let's go for president. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and I still don't understand how the economy grows. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, every economist has a reason. But it's all it'll, it's sort of like religion. It's hard to nail that stuff down. No one's been there yet, right? Uh, Someone tell you to tell me come come back with a set of wings, <laughs> then maybe I could believe it. Uh, then I go out and research the hustle that's right for you. Yes. Only you were responsible for you. Yes, that's it. No, but, but isn't it more fun to blame everybody else? Nah, no, don't do that because then, the, then you have to do work. <laughs> but actually, you don't see, and there's a trick in that too. There, there's an anomaly in that because work is really fun. I mean, you don't want to see, you know, I mean, if work wasn't fun, uh, but the right kind of work, because if it was easy, to me, that's no fun. It's a life that's no fun. If it, easy is no, uh, uh, if all you're looking for easy. And I, what I love saying is, would you like, would you have fun playing basketball against a five-year-old? That's easy, right? You're going to win. Yeah. So that's like having an easy job is that way. It gets boring right away. Three o'clock seems like 1030 at night already. Right. And you want to get out of there. Uh, so how do you, how do you, it's like a bad date. Aren't most jobs like a bad date? You know, I mean, <laughs> you look at your watch after an hour or so and you think oh, it must be Monday. Holy shit. It's only 930. <laughs> what am I going to do for two more hours? Yeah. Or what about those? States, all of a sudden it's two o'clock in the morning, right? You know, where did the time go? <laughs> and that's, uh, uh, is there a cost setup? Cost setup? No. <laughs> it's an energy setup. You got to do something. There's everything I'm going to tell you. It doesn't cost anything. Every link I give you is all free. The things that are free, but they don't jump out at you and come and knock on your door and, and give you a check. You got to bust your ass to do it. You know, and that's the key. Uh, and, and most of us aren't willing or, or because we believe in salesmen like me who say, oh, it's so easy. You just, you just you know, go to this link and your life will be solved. Bullshit. <laughs> no. Uh, who's trying to cut uh, SNAP? Uh, people in Congress right now, they're voting on it. So call your Congress, call your elected official if it's something important for you. Yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. Why do we we let millionaires slide by? We don't care if they work, do anything, you know, or just run around selling Coke. 
<laughs> you could still get the money from the government. <laughs> but if you're getting food stamps, man, you're ripping us off. <laughs> yeah. Or you fuckers have to starve. <laughs> it's just amazing. Anyway, that's life. And it's not going to stop happening, right? It's all going to happen. So you got to be vigilant. But first of all, you got to take care of yourself. So you got to get something. So you're self-sustaining. You take care of your own self or family or whatever you have. And then maybe you can't, because you can't help somebody else unless you're helped. Yeah, uh, uh, unless you're good. Uh, okay. L uh, looked on YouTube. It seems three months old. What is that? Now, back when I was school, it sucked. Who, who's trying to cut snap? Uh, don't know. But no, look in the news today. It's, it's part of the agriculture bill. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> and they're trying to make a work requirement. You know, out of that, and they're trying to do that with healthcare. Make a work requirement. If you're a millionaire, doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, but if you're poor, then yeah, we gotta make sure you work. Yeah, uh, what is life? Okay, guys, let me do. I got research reports. I gotta finish up uh, Minnesota today, so that's on the one stops. So you, the people, don't have to wait two more weeks to get their report on Minnesota because I'm doing the research. Um, and make sure you download uh, the car report uh, for free. Free.lesco.com slash cars2. Cars2. Uh, welfare foods that hasn't uh, but place, but don't make it a resting place. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I receive state and uh, I receive no state or gov help. I am an ex-beautician. Well, you may or may not need it. What you need is money make a job you know create income now an expedition x anything i think there's so many ways to do that just don't give anybody money that promises you you're going to make money there's too many other ways to do that okay uh start looking through my videos go to lesco i mean facebook.com slash free money news got a lot of stuff there that's all free uh Linda Brown, Saturday morning lesson. Oh yeah, I I I, I got to do some real work. Actually, I got to exercise first. Got to do my five miles. Starting to run again. I had an injury and living between injury. That's life as an old person. <laughs> and now it's like, ooh, I can do it slowly and maybe get out there again. So I got to go out do my uh, five miles, and I'll be back soon. And and thanks for people who've been so nice to me and saying nice things, and I I appreciate that very much. And that's what gives me juice to keep going. Now I got to figure out how to make a living at it too. Yes, no, Google pays for that. 